mystery tasting video. So um, just between you and me, I know this is a real uh, 100 years old Shuixian rock tea, so it's very high end. But because it's uh, unmarked on the package, so I told him that I know nothing about this tea. Um, we'll see how he reacts. Hey everybody, welcome back to Tea with Phil and Jen. Today we have another exciting mystery tasting for you. This is going to be a fun one. Mm -hmm. I found this uh, package of tea in my storage room and I was like, I have no idea what it is because there's no label. Sometimes nothing. the Chinese packaging gave me a heart attack. Uh, nothing. I don't even know what it is. So it would be fun to taste yeah, it. Super fun. We don't know what we're going into here. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And there's also a notification bell so that you'll know whenever we release a new video, we cover things like travel vlogs in the Chinese tea regions, how to brew, uh, how to choose and use Gaiwan teapot, all kinds of great topics. So uh, let's get to it. I'm excited for this. Oh, while the water is boiling, let's have a look at the dry leaf. Yeah, let's get this. Uh, the detective work begins. All right, so... Um, Pretty, uh, pretty dark and roasty and long, mm -hmm. probably a, an oolong. So you know nothing about this tea, like absolutely No, nothing? like you said, the package okay. is Okay, I just uh, wasn't sure empty. if there was anything, but... Oh yeah, I was gonna say oolong or black, but based on the aroma of the dry leaf and the length, I'm gonna say this is probably a strip oolong, like a... Mm -hmm. hmm, chocolatey a little bit, like a bit of a sweet chocolatey. To me, the dry leaf. I like the, uh, okay, early, in early times, early times, so back when I was just getting into tea, uh, Jem would often observe, comment about the texture or the luster of the dry leaf, and mm. I'm noticing that this one is, seemed to have a nice luster, a pretty nice sheen, and it, but back when I was getting started, I really didn't get what that meant, so as I've seen more and more tea, this one strikes me as a pretty, like quite a, pretty leaf. I think it's um, it's probably going to... I'm looking forward to sipping it, that's for sure. Mm. Uh, the aroma, the yeah. luster... It and... smells like a rock tea mm. or like it could be classic Tianguanyin, but it's those kind of... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I'm not... I, I, I'm just going to stick with oolong for now. I'm not okay. sure until I taste it, but it looks like it's going to be a fun, fun taste. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Pretty nice leaves. I agree. And it's not like the... Uh, the a while ago we had that... Uh, uh, rock tea that really the grain pops out. This one doesn't have that. No, no, this is properly oxidized. This is properly oxidized and uh, nicely roasted by the aroma, but that'll come out as well in the, uh, in the first couple infusions and as we get into the later ones. I'm really looking forward to it. Mm. Let's warm up the guy one first. All right, so I'm getting excited. I'm always so I have to admit, I'm a really, I love doing these mystery tastings, but I prefer doing them just with her and I. When I get on camera, I get a little nervous. I feel like I'm supposed to nail it or something, but I'm going to try and not relax. Not skill test. Right? It's I'm not just, a skill test. I just feel like it is, but I'm going to just try and relax and enjoy this uh, mystery tasting. So we're going to start with a little... I'll be uh, more civilized today. Oh, that was quick. You warmed that guy one up like a jiffy. I was blah, blah, blah the whole time. Oh, that's a good amount of tea. Mm hmm Nice. I just always wanted to dump from the other end so it's quicker. Okay. Did you do it the right way this time? Or yeah, I'm it? civilized oh, today. Good. Very good. <laughs> All right. So here's the dry leaf aroma. Smell number one. Hmm. Okay. I got Just it. notice one thing, okay? I find that you are picking up the whole thing and isn't that a lot of work? I just did it to keep the guy one as warm as possible and also maybe to not burn my hands. But you know, I just and yeah, I don't I like I to twist this. my head. Anyway, the guy don't one. distract me. Okay, I have sorry. some good notes. Um so the dark that dark chocolate that I had uh perceived on a purely dry leaf, now that it's humid, shock I thought it was gonna pop. Shockingly, it's actually the same or maybe even a little bit less. It's still there, a little hint of uh, mm, 
not super bitter yeah. dark chocolate. There's a hint of sweet. I wouldn't say it's milk chocolate either, but it's got a chocolatey. I think it's a dark chocolatey, but what that uh, sweetness uh, to me wasn't quite sweet. It's that rich cocoa, that uh, mm. rich cocoa, cocoa might almost be a better one. Mm. Right, like mm. uh, almost visualizing that uh, super thick and. Uh, Lava, like a really thick, floaty, that's concentrated feeling. Oh, lava. Lava, oh, yeah. I wondered what a bug had to do with it. <laughs> lava, so, lava, no, lava. that's okay. Um, I was thinking when you said cocoa, I thought maybe dark cocoa powder, kind of that aroma. And also I got a little bit of multigrain, but what I'm noticing most is how it's, pull, it's, it's pulled back. And that's a humid guy one. A lot of teas would have popped out there, so that's a bit weird. And I have aroma, like of flowers. Oh. A very... I'm gonna have a round two when you're done. Yeah, I definitely get this. So you got a little floral. It's not like, a, if you just smell it, it's not like, a, you gotta a feel the floral. It's, when I slowly, if, uh, like, a, how should I say? Like if you take a inhale fast, I didn't got hit most of what I have was uh, dark chocolate, but if I slowly inhale, mm. I found that helps to separate the aroma. Oh, the layers? Then I start to yeah. have a little bit fuller. Mm. I got fuller the sweet. thing mm. in the end. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. I'm excited to okay, taste let's it, get that's for sure. To it. So I'm still on the oolong page for sure now. Based oh, on that's oolong. rock tea. That's and yours for sure rock, rock tea, tea. For sure. Okay, okay. You're the boss, so we'll. But the taste will reveal for sure. Not that I think you're wrong, but or secret. No, it's just. Yeah, it has that dark. That right, really right. Dark, it really um, has to be robust. And look at the color, the deep amber, deep amber. Deep amber. Mm. Bronze? Clarity is... Bronze. Yeah, I would say more, yeah. Amber. It's not very clear, mm. but it has more of a lustrous. It's not cloudy, it's not clear. No, there's like a, a, just a hint of haze, mm. that's what I would say. In a cup, it's gonna look clear because there's not as much. And it is lustrous, it's bright. Yeah. Ooh, I'm way up here. All right, liquor aroma. Oh, that floral note you're ta you were talking about is definitely on the liquor. Mm. I dove right into the uh, bottom of the sharing cup there just to see what I could glean. That's really interesting too, like a sugary floral in the bottom cup. It's not bad if I do that out of order, huh? Just no, have a bit of no, bottom cup? No, not at all. Oh, okay. This is a not only bottom cup, but because of the shape, it also holds the That's aroma I, really nice. Yeah. This is the smell of a good roast. Mm. So when she says stuff like that, I latch on to that. Okay, try and lock that in. This is, um, this is really good and really hard to describe. Okay, this is making me a little bit even more nervous now. Mm. No, no. What do you feel when you breathe out? This is incredibly balanced. Like I'm getting um, some mineral, uh, mineral flavors. So rock tea, you were right, rock tea for sure. Uh, mineral, but the floral is there too. I just don't want to rush it. I want right. to just savor the tasting notes, but I'm coming to the guy one lit. But I just don't it, want the temperature to drop That too much floral down. is quite um, lovely in the aroma, like the, uh, the whole, 
Liquor flavor and mouth feel has floral. Mouth feel floral. I don't know. It's really complicated. It's really like a lit in lit. lit. Mm. It's really in it, and、um, it's not in it like a, say you put flavor A B C together、mm, that you taste、mm, the flavor A B C. Integrated. It's so integrated、mm. in the way that it seems to be. That, but it seems to be others, but it's all over the place. Yeah, if you can imagine a tight weave with flavors,、mm. that's kind of what it is. You've got these granite, these、um, a bit of like malted grain,、um, like roasty, malted roasty grain. malted grain. You've got the、uh, floral element is there too. It's not a dominating, but it's like it's there and it's it's got great presence. Uh, this is, but it, but I'm really struggling to find a tasting note that is like you know, you know. There's nothing like blueberry or chrysanthemum or no, you know nothing really is jumping out, which makes me、uh, delighted. Like it's a great tea, but I always like to have those words for you guys, so it makes me a little bit、mm. nervous. <laughs> oh, this is. And when I. Close my mouth and breathe. Just to take inhale, exhale. Of that, it has a really deep and cream、mm. flavor, but that's not a, a, a like a milk cream. It's、mm. uh, it's it's like soy milk, homemade soy milk. You could never find that if、mm. you buy that from store. Right. Homemade soy milk that you actually、uh, blend every soil, like the soy milk without the soil residue. You really need that、mm. whole thing.、Mm. I under I I、the、taste I and I'm looking for a more common tasting <laughs> note. No, it's not. It's a great description because、um, we make soy milk on a re, on pretty regular basis. But I'm trying to think of how it, would that be like a like cream of wheat made with malty barley. Like I don't know how to describe that, but、mm. I, it does have that thick mouth feel that is.、Uh, but that's a, a cream. Flavor、Creamy flavor、well. is、um, mm. so familiar, but so hard but for、elusive. me to just yes.、Mm. I can just breathe here forever.、Mm, yeah, it really lingers. And let's smell this again. This is cold. It's a sugary floral, like a stinky flower floral. Yeah, but、With、sugary. Sugary.、Mm. And roast. I can smell the roast still there.、Mm. It's a really balanced roast. It's a roast that you don't think about burnt. You think、mm. about anything. It's say, just so pleasant. You don't taste any、pleasant. fire、mm. or smell. Oh, that's good. That's good tea.、Mm. And another one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. This is a this is a good tea. This is making a... even not even you, but what I mean is like you agree too. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, yeah, I heard what you said. I agree. Those. And the aroma, the, sorry, the dry leaf aroma was a pretty interesting hint. Usually, you have a so the dry dry leaf when it was in the tea presentation、uh, dish, I had an aroma. And normally, if there's an aroma there, when we warm up the gaiwan, we just warm it up and then put the leaf in. It's usually pretty booming after that. This one was either the same or even, as I mentioned, pulled back. That's very weird. Um, and complex and balanced. Mm, mm. So it's more, more. It's usually the more expensive teas that are kind of I call it greedy with their dry leaf aroma,、mm. as if they're saving it for the liquor. And when I taste the liquor, the liquor's full of aroma. Right. So I really, I agree with you. This is a smell. This. It's like why is a good tea? Oh, the.、Floral. It really shows every every aspect of it. It's. I can't name、Impressive. the flower, but this is flowers growing on a bed of granite,、I、like the lily we see on, like the lilies we saw poking out of the cliff at Wuyi. This is beautiful. You have that mineral aroma and a floral aroma, like we said,、oh. woven together. This is. Can I? This pour? is、oh, yes, I'm please. Pour you this is just so pleasant to be.、Um, It's almost like the opposite experience of the other、uh, rock tea tasting, which I was so hopeful and got a very grouchy mood. We got a shout out. We'll put that up here、right. because、uh, maybe you didn't see that, but we had a a similar mystery tasting,、mm-hmm. and 
we thought that was going to be in our top five, but it didn't work out. So I don't this know. This is just every sip gives me goosebumps. Like uh, that's so. I cannot pick out any issue with it. And it has that. Um, low profile aroma i call i don't smell the whole thing here like far and floaty mm. it's not that kind of a floaty overly flirty yes, right. aroma it's mm. a very elegant very um almost stoic mm. you know like um resolved and with a sense of purpose not floating around in the air coming up from the guy one to your nose it's in the liquor for a reason and it's to make the tea amazing, like that kind of stoic, if stoic is a flavor note. <laughs> and this tea has a really strong tong flavor. Tong wei. It's a long tong shui xian. Mm? That's, oh, you're going tea type already. Whoa. The okay. first sip. I forgot to think about what kind of oolong it is. Oh, right, What kind right. of rock tea it is. So you're calling lao tong shui xian. Wow. Yeah. The first sip, I already like... I'm going to wait. Respectfully, I'm going to wait the before I make a call. The first sip, it really has very clear tong wei. So I know the type mm, of the... I see. That, how, so the tong wei is, the, um, is, the, is what... That gave up that it was shui xian to you on the first sip? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it was just... And now you're dr drilling down... Really on, prominent tong mm. wei. It's, like, it's not like you have to try harder. It's almost like a seaweedy, like a seaweed, not quite dulcy, 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 dulcy. I don't think but anybody not, will know what dulcy oh, okay, is. Okay, okay, but it's not quite a, a fishy like that. Mm. But it has that. Uh, it's a wa I call that a watery flavor, not watery mouthfeel. It's mm. a watery flavor that uh, almost like a seaweed, right. dulcy, that kind of a uh, right. You know, thing. <laughs> mm. Mm. And the liquor is soft. Like soft. so soft, silky. just silky mm. and uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, really round and full in the mouth. Mm. It's just such a such a pleasant experience to sip this tea. Did you smell this? Not yet, not yet. Okay. Oh, um, maybe I did. Here, grab the whole thing. Mm. Tell the guy what. Oh, oh. thought it was lid. I gotta <laughs> okay, have okay. specific. There's so many ways to smell it. Right, right. right. There are you different the uh, ways, and all you smell are different elements of that. Lid, you would go a little bit sooner when that's hot. Mm. 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 Or when it's a cooler. Right. I do all. I've been really obsessed with the various, the various bottom cup aromas are delightful. Oh, this that's whole called cha tea. If you can hear that from the mic of my burp, <laughs> a little burp, right? This whole experience, though, right from that's the dry really leaf reactive. to the sip to all the aromas, okay. have been really um, yeah. delightful. It's a, mm. it's a uh, very good unknown tea. And I would say, from the first infusion to this infusion. We talked about that weave or that really integrated, all the flavors were really integrated. They, they integrated even more. So it actually yeah. got, for me, even harder to describe. And I'm looking for differences. And that's the, that's the biggest difference I see is the, that granite element was even more integrated with the floral element, both still very present, maybe more present because on the second infusion. Mm. Um, uh, great mouthfeel. The, the floral circulates when you breathe over the liquor too. So when you taste this one, watch our video on how to taste tea. It mm. might seem like it's just natural, you're just tasting tea, but that's a real game changer, especially for a tea like this. Oh, absolutely. You want to breathe over the liquor while it's in your mouth. You do not yeah. want to miss it. You that. really want to like how we're doing that, uh, mm. super slow tasting infusion mm. by infusion. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing. And I just love how this uh, guy, uh, no, sorry, guy, the serving pot is totally like a cooled, like a room temp, but the, the aroma that stays in that. Very sticky. 
Mm, I just had a smell of it. So, um, I can't even ex explain it. Well, what's more exciting than start a day with a spectacular tea? Mm. Stinky rock flowers in the bottom sharing pot. <laughs> I don't know. For me, it's mostly roast. That uh, comfy, pleasant, mm. warming roast. Mm. Okay, yeah. But I can see what you mean by stinky flowers. It's got those Absolutely, hints. yeah. Shall we brew more of this amazing tea? <laughs> of course. Okay, third infusion. You're super happy. I'm super happy. Like it's really like this is the effect of good tea. Yeah. So I'm excited about the third infusion too. And you've thrown down uh, Lao Tom Sui Shen. You've mm -hmm. thrown that down. So I'm gonna try and home in on my I, I, official I wanna, guess. But it's I hard keep, for me to guess after. Right. I keep interrupting him because I'm just. This is a quote. We boil the water it's five minutes there. break, yeah. and you smell that. Mm, ultra sticky. Consistent. Yeah, it's like it's like we smelled it five minutes ago. It's right? really. Oh, sorry if I held you up. Wow, look at well, that's this. That's why I'm so excited. It's. I want to hold this up just, for them. Just have a look at that. Yeah. Similar you see bright. The, how shall I say? Uh, bright amber. What is lustrous? Mm. It's actually a very hard to um, define because sometimes you think it should have be clear transparency with a really bright. That's not necessarily a good tea. Uh, mm. At a certain point, we in Chinese we have a term we call that the zai guang, means sift, uh, sift. Luster, like it's overly. Mm. What did you? What was the word? Thief. 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 Sorry, not thief. Thief. Yes. Okay. They, that's the Chinese words. Okay. Which means it's overly bright, overly stuff. It could mean the tea uh. is already done. That is almost empty. Oh. Uh. You know what I mean? What we like, Let's like. See. I usually compare that to like uh, the a good jade vis-a-vis -vis diamond. Uh, the Chinese way of looking at it is more like uh, loving a good jade. It's it has its own radiance, but it's not uh, over like so shiny like a diamond. Or say oily. I have oily skin, so in the morning you see me, I'm reflective like a mirror. <laughs> you know, like I can't. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> that's just. Uh, too much oil, but a healthy people, like you see their skin that has healthy glow. It's not oily, it's mm. healthy glow. Has that's how it, yeah, yeah, it's not like, a, it, yeah, it's not dripping. <laughs> okay, that's too much. But uh, I know what you mean, like it's a... You know, there is a, a subtle lie somewhere from it's right, overly, that tea liquor looks empty to Made me. To it's be just lustrous. a shiny. It's right. just overly clear right. or something. But mm. this one has a, a touch of a um, cloudy, a touch of a cloudy a haze, I would say. Haze, it's right. just, a, just a hint. But like, the radiance is still there in the liquor. Mm, mm. And the aroma, we've got this sort of beautiful combination of um, granite with that cocoa-y, mm. Cocoa minerally this and infusion, the floral is still there. This infusion for me, that cocoa stuff will come out more. And in the way that dark mm. chocolate sometimes have that touch of a tartness on the mm -hmm. on the tongue. That's a, I didn't have this in the first no, that's two infusions. Definitely a, that tart tart little hit. Now it's gone. Very quick cleanup. We were also commenting on the break. Our mouth was watering the whole time. Mm. Mouth is quick watering after this sip too. Watering, clean, no astringency, and the aroma, the whole flavor. When we we're talking, when we we're waiting for the um, kettle to boil, like my whole mouth is almost like a not say spray perfume in my mouth, but that lingering power right. is uh, almost. <laughs> Gross. 
right? But no, you, it's almost you have unreal that. for a tea to linger for so long you where have there's that nothing. Strong memory of you don't wonder what you just drank. It's there.、Mm. The mouth is watering and refreshed, although you haven't had a sip in several minutes. Mm. Mm. Why is all my description so gross? <laughs>、mm. They're vivid. <laughs> Yeah, this is、mm. a great experience. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, you've got some. Okay, Go I'll, ahead. No, I'll let you in. I'll do this. I haven't、yeah. done this in a while. Hmm. This is called 水香 You got a water aroma. Water aroma. I mean, it's、uh, impressive, impressive.、Mm. Not、uh, shockingly bad or anything. What、it's... did you get? I couldn't explain that. That's why I was just sitting here quiet. Like,、uh, to me, it was very、uh, elusive, subtle, but but For present. For me,、like、a... it's a creamy aroma, a creamy floral aroma, almost like a gardenia, but take away that sweetness of gardenia. Right, right. But with my、uh, what I was like. Pleasantly shocked is how rich the water aroma it is.、Mm. The 水香 is very,、uh, you know, good tea when you smell because there's water or stuff. It's hard to get the the aroma out. So sometimes you will smell tea that is with the.、Um, With the water、uh, on it, it's actually really faint or barely anything. But this one is so rich and so emulsified. That kind of feeling,、mm. like、um, that's a good one. Like similar to integrated, but completely in it. Yes,、mm. it's a, at some point it's almost a visual, very visual of how the profile of this aroma and and taste of this tea is. Really consistent liquor color too.、Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Four, I think. Right. This is infusion four.、Mm. The aroma is bold. It's almost like、uh, it's. It feels like infusion two or three. It's very consistent. In terms of intensity, in terms of the、mm. the richness of flavor, but in this consistency, you still witness that、uh, little changes of、uh, different elements. Some become more prominent. Some kind of、uh, fade away a little bit.、Mm. Um, I feel the、um, the mineral, granite, rocky elements. Sure. Slightly more present in this infusion. Again, still very balanced. There's still a f- that delightful floral note has never left, which is again often absent in rock tea、um, or very very hard to pick up. This one, it's there, not overpowering. Right. Just perfectly balanced for right from the get go up until now. That's still there. That cocoa element has taken a bit of a backseat for me. It's still here. But、mm. the granite, granite, a great rocky, the rockiness really. But it's not, it's not a, it's not a brash rockiness. This is really like all of the edges are very round on this. The sometimes you get a rock tea that's so masculine and so rocky, and that kind of bold. This is not. On one hand,、mm, let me remember. It's like.、Uh, Sort of like the difference between Huiyuan Kang Rogue and、um, uh, Mataoyan Rogue. Mataoyan is the bold, horse head,、mm, really masculine tea. Huiyuan Kang is still very, very, very good. My, I prefer it.、Mm. More round, more, more elegant, stoic. Right. Doesn't need to show off. It has、right. everything it needs.、Um, this is more in that domain.、Ah, I wonder, is it a Rogue? I haven't submitted my. Mm. I think I'm, I'm a little bit tainted by your guess at Shuixian, <laughs> but I think you're. You know what it doesn't have is I haven't had a, especially a really good tea. This is a good tea, and I don't have some of those characteristic Rogue elements. Are definitely 
not there and I do have that watery thick watery flavor mm. uh, not like a right you always have to clarify because as I think that's a weird flavor when you first pointed it out for me and my first time really experiencing it was in uh, Wuyi when I finally figured out that right. that watery um, flavor not mouthfeel it's not thin but it has that like a spring water you know mm -hmm. that fresh splash yes yes I was just uh, laughing not because of what he was talking it's just uh, if you guys are here <laughs> a minor thunderstorm <laughs> It's not thunderstorm, it's just my burp. Mm. <laughs> it really Chachi. gave me, yeah, my chassis mm. is quiet like that. So, excuse me. Now I want to go and listen, see if we hear. Because my mic is right here, right? So, so this is five, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just want to kind of keep track on a good tea like this. It's really nice to know where you're at. Absolutely. You, I noticed a cup suddenly appear, so. What's this? What's the experiment going on here? Have you heard a saying or something to say, if it's a really good rock tea, you put that in the cup and afterwards, the next day, it will still have the lingering aroma. So I'm really impressed by this tea, like okay. really impressed. I haven't had such a good tea that I cannot pick out any issue from the material to the process or anything for a wow. long time. So I'm really thrilled by this tea. And uh, I actually never did this experiment myself. You're supposed to use the first infusion, but this right. is the fifth infusion. So I'm right. just gonna try it out to see if it works or not. Or maybe tomorrow there's no smell. We talk about the tea experience, like the experience of a, of a tasting great tea, a lot, obviously, on this channel. And um, this really drives it home. Like mm. how, you know, from the lid, to the dry leaf, to the bottom cup, the aroma, the, the breathing technique, like this is one you really want to have your, you want to have your, you want to have some practice down so that you don't miss oh, out. Yeah. This is. This is just really fun. I can see why you're giddy a little bit. <laughs> How often do you see me tasting tea that couldn't, mm. it's really like, I think this tea is perfect. I have no... When you said there was no from pluck to process, you couldn't taste, there's usually at least a little something. Like, there's always something. It's mm. really hard, uh, really... She's pretty picky. <laughs> it's not hard to find all those little Mm. could improve the aroma is right. off or taste is that right. this no astringency mm. at all no astringency thick its texture is just uh, so pleasant to swallow mm. that mellow that is silk literally the silk like mm. uh, brothy you know like a real chicken stewed mm. for eight hours not chicken powder with water <laughs> mouthfeel it's a really right. you know you, 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 you feel like there's a collagen or something mm -hmm. thick almost like a stickiness to it and uh, the the aroma the, the 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 flavor how integrated how elegant it is i have the thunder now too i'm having fancy <laughs> a little bit too so right excuse me so i'm gonna put that here upside down oh that's how it goes yeah you put that uh, like a oh. straight up as to, for sure there won't be any okay smell. that's why i was amazed at first i'm like wow that's and, pretty amazing and then we put the hot water through it Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Just to warm the cup. Activate to see if there is a smell. And then we pop it and smell it? Mm hmm Oh boy. I can't Oh wait. boy, this just empty glass at room temperature lingers, lingers for so long. It's just a... Uh, Despite amazing. us both putting our nose in and drawing out all the aroma. For so many times. <laughs> you see how many times I smell that? that that's, mm. Mm. Even the wide open cup, mm -hmm. it's really sticky. By that, I mean the aroma is sort of, there's a, it's like clinging to the, yeah. to the glass. And the, the brew leaf, the aroma is just so comfy and pleasant. And it's, mm. it's right. It's just, a, right. you know, mm. right. There's no hint of unpleasant, a little bit of a 
uh, oxidation issue or anything. No, not in mouthfeel, not in aroma, mm. not in brew leaf. Mm. Gold. It's just like a warm blanket. Yeah. We went for a little walk and it's pretty cool now. So this seems perfect, but it makes me wonder, I bet you in the dead of summer, this tea would still make you feel, oh, it's like a refreshing mm. AC. You know what? It would you be know, that kind of a yeah. calm you down in mm. a chaotic setting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm so excited to have a good tea. So this is infusion, let me get this right, six. Pretty sure that's right. Six? I'm pretty sure, yeah. We did, we just finished five, I'm pretty sure. Five. We'll check that. Yeah, because your experiment was infusion five. Mm. I think. Uh, oh boy, I don't know. I feel like that brew. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. we'll chat. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I know. It's so good it has us disoriented. I'm just excitingly dizzy. <laughs> wow. Really consistent liquor color. Mm. Just beautiful. Mm -hmm. A little bit less haze. Yeah. Oh, this is that kind of a... Um... I got a light floral, like just a beautiful... I got rich floral, mm. rich, creamy floral. I need oh. to expand to the flowers I know. Mm, it's hard, I don't know. Yeah, if I don't, I like, don't... Especially with a good tea, it doesn't smell like a given Any flower. Special, it just yeah. smells like, like has that like a, memory. It almost has a vanilla, not vanilla mm. scent, but the vanilla, uh, I call that heaviness, is the profile of that vanilla scent is a more to mm. the heavier right. feeling than those light and fluffy yeah. feeling. And even the liquor has that same delightful floral, mm. just hinting. The floral is more to the front now. Mm -hmm. Well, the early times is more like a, you know, teasers in mm. the back. You always have that floral, but it's never so prominent. And the sip is, is very grounding, brings back to the rock tea fundamentals. Great granite. And even though this is the later infusion, it's still the moss feel. The mm. moss feel oh, didn't yeah. become empty, didn't become like a, you know, thing and nothing in it. It's still so complex. Oh, this is divine. Mm. So have you made up your mind? I don't, is it, can I play in the leaf? Are yeah, we gonna, yeah, yeah. So let me have I'm going to infuse more, but you can play too. I'm going to have a quick look. I won't be too destructive. Cause oh, this is a lighter aroma, now. lighter floral aroma. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the leaf is, so you guessed, you guessed already Lao Tsong Sui Xian and I, I really agree that it's a, a Sui Xian. I don't know Lao Tsong or not. I'm, I'm leaning towards it. I'm leaning towards that, but I really don't want to guess the same thing. I feel like that's so boring. Mm. The leaf is yeah. pretty big. Because I'm going to throw those leaves back in. <laughs> mm, right on. Oh yeah, mm. look at this. It's a giant, giant leaf here. Okay, so I'm, I'm definitely going to look at the color of it too. And look how, how even. even. You see that? And even. you taste it. Yeah. Because it's a... Uh, even and so, resilient. It's not falling apart yeah. in my hand, even though I'm working pretty hard to un, uh, uncurl it. And we're on infusion, we're lost a bit, but five uh, in the six, seven zone. And it's um, still still a little bit, still giving, still unrolling. And this is a stain and soft and silky texture. Mm -hmm. Even the stain, that's... Wow. Um, guess? So yeah, I'm in the... So here's the thing. I don't want to guess the same thing, but I really think you got it before I did. So that's a bummer. So I'm going to take a stab at the how lao, <laughs> how? <laughs> which means how old, right? How old? So let me say, um, I don't, I don't know. We, back in Wuyi, we had that, that, um, we had that Banyan Lao, Lao Tom Sui Xian. There's a video 
we have a video of that. Mm. That was a great experience. We went through the garden. It's a vlog. That was super fun. And that mm. one gave me goosebumps right up and down my spine. I'm going to guess, and that was 100-ish year old, but... That's over 100 years. Over 100. So I'm going to put this one in the... I'm just going to take a stab. I'm totally just going on flavor and just is just to help. So 70, 60, 70 year old bush, just like that. I just don't, cause I don't want to guess exactly the same. So let me give a, a, a minor detail. Mm. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, but what, it doesn't matter if I guess anyway, because we don't know. So what it is, what it is. So does your mom know or can we? Okay. 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 I, I have to tell Four. you though. Mm. Actually, I know what it is. <laughs> I got tricked. Can you believe it? <laughs> I, that's I, brutal. It's because on the package, there's nothing. So I was like, that's great. Yeah, I know. And that's why I was totally... Okay. <sighs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You, you were really close. Like, really close. This is well, you, the, you guessed, you told me, so I was... I was afraid I in the first infusion. When I sip it, I was like, oh, I it's you, very right? obvious, like a lot of flavor for me. It's, uh, mm. I was afraid you might just notice that right away. And I, I wasn't trying to say it without leaking that I know it. But anyway, this is the one from that uh, uh, Xuexian canopy that... Uh, oh, it is the Banyan. Yes. Yes. Oh wow! Oh, this yeah. that was speaking of one of the best tea of your life. That was absolutely. I'm gonna absolutely. strongly say second best. I know exactly where it goes. It was the second best tea of my life. Wow, this was it. And oh, I oh wow, that yeah. was an amazing. It's hard for you to nail down the age because. Mm. Uh, uh, we haven't do much uh, side by side tasting with uh, mm. old bush shui xian, so right. you don't know, you wouldn't know how much of that cong wei the intensity mm. level matches the year. You wouldn't right. know. Uh, our supreme, we have a supreme tea uh, of lao cong shui xian, which uses bushes around eighty years old. Right. If we have done a side by side this tea with the other one, then mm. you will probably start to notice the intensity of its home weight. There is a difference, right. and that's how you kind of know the age of that. Right. So, but but for your that's guess, what I should have anchored really... on. I should have gone with that because I, I do feel like this one's a little notch above that. It didn't leave much space, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I would have got it. That was well, what an experience. Oh boy. Yeah, that look at was, this uh, leaf. It's very that takes me back to Wuyi now. That, now that I know yeah, that, yeah. I'm really reminiscing about that whole experience. How we found him even was was quite magical. Yeah, and you know I'm always skeptical with whichever tea I taste. Uh, we taste the tea uh, in Wuyi, and now I taste it again. It's consistent, consistently stellar, and mm. I'm just so happy about the the production level of that high it really matches the material it didn't oh, yeah. let the material down mm -hmm. you know and right. it emphasizes what is good at like it really really brings out the best of the tea right. leaf right you know it's just uh, impeccable yeah just a wonderful sip um mm. all the way through from well, not a wonderful sip, a whole experience, right from the first waft of the dry leaf all the way to the end. When I smell the dry leaves, I was like, mm, that's like, it is what it is. It's just so You're good. You're good. You're really good. It, when you sm smell enough of all different teas, you start to, you smell that they, they are different. They're just so widely different. Oh, but we don't want to make this video like, an hour right. long or yeah, two hours long. Yeah, this tea is going to go forever. It's got um, great legs. Yeah, yeah. Only seven, great endurance. six, seven infusions. We'll definitely continue that. But mm. um, I think uh, that's a good uh, yeah. reveal for the video. Yeah, I can't believe <laughs> I got left. Uh, another trick every time. I'm going to stop trusting you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and share it with your tea friend. It will really help our channel grow. And head on over to our website. There's a list of amazing rock teas down below. So not only can you have a great tasting experience with those, but it also supports our passion for tea and helps us bring an amazing leaf into your gaiwan. Mm -hmm. Until next time, keep, keep sleeping. sleeping.
So yesterday we had a really good rock tea, and uh, now we're testing this theory theory about uh, does that smell good on the next day? So we yeah, so we put the rock tea in the cup, then we flipped it, and now we're gonna heat it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Should be boiling, good, right? Boiling water on it, yeah. Good. Okay. So that sort of excites it. Yeah. Minor rock to your aroma. Yep, minor. Faint. Not like yesterday. Yesterday, after several minutes of cold, the cup was still sticky with smell. Mm hmm Really minor. I think now it's gone. Mm hmm Well, I wonder if we had done that with the first infusion. I think we used the fifth infusion. Um, and uh, that was... That initially has a little bit of rock tea flavor, really faint and light. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Yeah. I, I wonder if we use the first infusion, maybe that would taste. Let's try I mean, it again it sometime. Better. Yeah. It was interesting. Well, we have a good rock tea. Okay, you guys can try out a, a home with your good rock tea too. Yeah, and let See, us know. Yeah, comment below and let us know. Tea drunk. <laughs>